I'm a mother, first of all, okay, and I have four boys and one's the daughter. So I am here to support Trayvon's mother and his family, you know, because I feel that we need justice for this case for Trayvon. I want to see justice done, okay, for him, okay. That justice for me is that he should get the punishment, Mr. Zimmerman should get the punishment that he deserves, you know, for killing this innocent child, okay? That's the justice that I want to have. And I want the guns taken off the streets. I'm fighting, I'm going to fight for the guns, to be all guns to be taken off the street. Because nobody should be walking around with a gun and feel that they should be able to just kill somebody because if they see them doing anything wrong, then they should go to them and talk to them and not just up and kill them. Call the police, let the police take care of them. Well, I was hoping in, that more people would be out here to help support this, uh, try to find out justice, try to get justice done. But I guess since there's only the selecting the juries, there's not gonna be that many people out here now. But when the, ju when the case starts, you know, it's gonna it's gonna be more people out here. If we're gonna be out here until they select all the juries, and after the juries, then we'll probably be out here mostly every day for that. the trial. For the part. trial, right? Yes. Anything else you wanna say? Hi, everybody. Love y'all. <laughs> and God bless you. Thank you very much. That was wonderful. The case relates to me because I am a parent. I am a father and grandfather. I'm concerned for generation after generation because we are the father. We should concern about the children because when they come in on this world, if they find out we don't stand up for nothing, they ain't going to learn how to stand up for nothing. So that's what I'm here to support a young man who died because to me, he died innocent. That's what I'm here. I never be involved in certain sort of things, but I want to show my gratitude to him. While he's on his grave, he could see there's a, someone to stand up for him. Because when I heard about this case from the beginning, I keep wondering to myself, my main focus be here today with the sign. I want everybody to read to understand. We could fool the people sometimes, but you can't fool them all the time. We tired being fooled. We being fooled by de for decades. We got to stand up to say enough is enough. Our fastest concern, the justice never gonna solve in the United States. Because the point is, as first of all, the system as a justice is broken because money by the system. There is no law in the United States. It's money talking, okay? So without, uh, if the money not involved in the system, it's gonna be a justice. But through money involved inside the system, he by the system, so he, there won't be no justice. Only one justice we expect to have in this world is when Jesus is coming back. Mm -hmm. But I stand there, I need some explanation. My explanation is this. I want a lawyer to describe to the world how Mr. and the man as a man have a weapon. He could cry for help with a teenage boy who don't have not even a razor blade. That's really insult to the world. That's really give me some aggravation for me to be here. I want them to explain that to the world. The law is made, he made according to the law, but we break the law. Because the point is that if you listen to the 911 call from Mr. Zinnemann, he break the law because the police tell him don't follow the boy. He follow him. Why he follow him? Because the boy was a colored guy. That's what he said. The black man walking with a hood on his head, he don't know what he up to.
Right. But because he have the power, he have the gun, he say, I'm going to follow him. Let me give you motive of Mr. Zinnemann behind that boy. Maybe somebody might can't see that, but I have a wisdom to see that. First of all, Zinnemann know he could get away if he killed that young boy. He say, well, my daddy is a former judge. He knows everybody. He know the laws. And all the police know him. So whatever I do with the stand of the ground, I could get away. That's exactly his most of yes. Mm -hmm. But he take that young man's life for nothing. But I want some explanation because this is the first time in my life I hear men with a weapon cry for help. 